Hello everyone and welcome to another Unbiased Unboxing with me, John LaRuffa. And today I'm coming to you from Germany. That's right, I had the good fortune of being able to go to Spiel uh, 2019 and pick up some great games and unbox one of those for you right now. And that game is Era Medieval Age, along with this little expansion that I picked up as well. So let's take a look at what is inside these guys. Okay, so first of all, I've got to apologize for the lighting and the fact that I'm doing this sort of one-handed since I do not have anything to hold the camera. I'm in a hotel room after all. But as you can see, beautiful box art to start with this. Also note, this is the English edition. Um, this came with it. This is a pack of stickers that I know they've added recently to improve the readability of the different player boards. So that my copy did come with that taped to the side of the box. And then this little guy is the collector set number one. On um, the back, it kind of just shows a couple of little things about it. Pretty good artwork again. I mean, there's no complaints there. This is going to be a beautiful game, I know, because I saw it at the convention. Um, the sides of the box are kind of more, pardon me, with the camera, kind of more of the same types of illustrations, looking very, very nice. Different things kind of being shown. Again, really good stuff. And then... The back of the box shows you the components, which are a big selling point of this game, as along with the custom dice, also a lot of fun. So let us try to open this up if I can successfully. Pardon me on this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this open. Rough camera work there, sorry about that. Okay, so let's see what's inside. We have this nice large rule book. Rule book is fairly well illustrated not too big by any means looks like it won't be too long or too tough to to learn how to play this fairly good as far as the steps the illustrations the examples look okay only time will tell but that's good news that we have all those things uh, kind of well in place and then you know some of the appendices which is also very nice to have about everything, what they do, and how it all goes together. So there's that. Then we have some player boards here. Again, I got one hand at this, so I'm not gonna open this on the side, but as you can see, looks like pretty good illustrations, pretty clean, nice, beautiful artwork on the back. Those look really good. Now here's the player boards, and again, I think that a lot of people did struggle with trying to see what was on these things originally, um, but they are very, nice plastic they're not going to warp on you or bend or anything like that but they would be tough to read without stickers or something so i'm glad that the stickers did come with that that's going to make it be a lot easier that being said if they didn't i'd probably hack it just fine you know i'm in the plastics industry so i can understand what you guys what you get when you mold things like this so there's two player boards three Four. <clears throat> a nice large pack of um, scoring pages here, as you'd need for a game like this. Lots of different custom dice, so these are going to be cool. I'll open these up. Pause the camera probably, just open them up and I'm going to show everybody. Those look really good. And then of course the uh, meat potatoes of the excitement here, all these little minis little bags of miniatures, the buildings you can build and stuff like that. So those look really good. Here's the little pegs that you're going to be using for the board. A whole bunch of other little buildings. Yeah, these look really nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the camera, turn it back on after I open these up, and then give you kind of a hands-on demonstration of what we got and how they go in. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I've opened up some of the dice here, and again, these are really high quality, nice heavy dice. The, um, they're not uh, printed on, but they're inlaid and painted in there. They're gonna roll really nice, be very easy to use. And these miniatures are great quality, um, polyethylene, so they're gonna bend a little bit, they're not gonna snap on you. You can see a, just a slight amount of warping in that, but that's not gonna be a big deal. I'm sure it's gonna go in just fine. But these are nice and detailed. They'll look great as we plug them in. So I really like that. I really like what's going on here. 
and I like the fact that it's going to make a colorful presentation as you build it up. That's always fun. I've also opened up the pack of that little expansion here to show you kind of what you get. So you're getting these a uh, couple different buildings there, some extra custom dice with different things on them. Um, these dice in particular are a little bit different. Same heft and weight, but just different things. There's kind of a, mar or a pearlescent look on that one that's kind of nice. And then a blue and a black. Um, as well for those and you also get a little rule book here with the expansion so we'll see what comes in that <clears throat> i forgot to mention we've got some of these um different sided two-sided discs which will most likely be useful as we go and just so that everybody can see how these things kind of come together i wanted to plug in a couple of them on the board just to give you my impression of how well they fit in that fit in no problem at all. Let's try a different one here. <clears throat> Go in pretty easily here. No issues. Not going to move around on you. Okay. Yeah, they fit in nicely. You don't have to really press hard. So they're not, they're not, uh, you know, warped or anything like that. Sometimes can happen with plastic uh, miniatures. No problem. So these things are going to go in just fine. And it looks like they're also going to hold up and not fall out too. So overall, I'd say these components are top notch. I'm really looking forward to getting this game to the table and giving it a shot. And uh, um, that's about the size of it. So John Rufi here for another Unbiased Unboxing. Thank you very much. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. Take it easy.